Howdy, howdy, folks. It is Diecast Buffet here again. Welcome back to another NASCAR Authentics Wave Review. It's extremely late, which is right on time. So today we'll be talking about Wave 2 of the 2023 Authentics line. And this one's actually a pretty decent wave, guys. It is on the EL mold, so we don't have no crazy PTC mold, whatever garbage that Wave 1 and Wave 3 had. So we're going to have some good quality diecast. But we also might have a few exclusive. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. So the first one we're going to have here is the 2023 Eric Almirola Smithfield car. I don't know about you, but I noticed a few different decals with this car. Uh, I think it's the Eckridge logo and the Nathan's logo. I don't remember that on the 2022 edition of that car. Maybe I'm mistaken on that. Uh, there was a lot of Amarola fans. But can we get some alternate paint schemes, please? Like, he runs, like, 30 different paint schemes, like, the last three years, and only, like, four die casts get made. You know, I, 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 don't, I don't get it. He has so many alternate cars. Get some alternate paint schemes out there. But uh, I want to say this is on the botched, blurry decals, from what I see, because the Cup Series logo looks like a Sharpie mark, and there's kind of a, a fuzzy look around the number 10, so... If you're an Amarola fan and you're desperate, um, I still wouldn't get this because of the blurry decals. I know it's an EL mold car. I believe the wheels might be painted on these as well. I'm uh, not sure on it. I mean, I don't collect really Authentics anymore. This is a true exclusive that I'm really glad to see. It is the Josh Berry uh, Tire Pros throwback. I believe this is to um, year 2000 uh, Tasmania car or 2001 Tasmania car for Dale Jr. I think he ran at Richmond. Or no, I think, was it a Bush car or was it a Cup car? Because I know they had the Looney Tunes joint at the fall Richmond race. But anyways, this is a great looking paint scheme. It's on the um, the EL mold. Um, very bright, vibrant orange. It has the Chevrolet bow tie on top of the hood, which is a very cool throwback to the Monte Carlo days. This is a great die cast to get. Highly recommend picking this one up because it is a true exclusive. This one right here is the Yahoo Toyota for Christopher Bell. Now, apparently, the, the purple for this is actually more accurate than the Sonoma Kyle Busch race to win truck for whatever reason they botched it. But I don't know if this is on the clean decals or not because it looks really fuzzy to me. I could be completely wrong on that. Um, it, how you tell is you look at the Cup Series logo and if, if, if it's, you know, easy to read, then you know it's it's on the good decal mold. If it's not, it's these weird, cheap, stamped on decals that are they're they're crappy they they feel weird they just not something i would personally collect but i love this paint scheme though beautiful purple and white paint scheme the next one we have here is kimmy raikkonen i believe that's how you pronounce it this is an awesome die cast i haven't reviewed this one car yet uh this car yet i believe it was out of stock at circle b when i went to go order it so this is actually a good thing for people who missed out on the initial first wave because it is a one-off paint scheme he did come back um to run coda in 2023 but i love that borderline day glow 91 on the car it's very modern very beautiful and i think this is on the good decal mode so this is going to be a very popular die cast um if they don't overproduce it this could be one of the rarest next gen cars ever made because of the f1 connection and f1 right now is just booming i'm not personally an f1 fan i'll keep it real but i know there's a lot of people who like it so this is a car you might want to not open up in your collection. The Interstate Batteries Martin Truex Jr. 2022 uh, paint scheme. Now this is a really beautiful, beautiful race car. I love the electric vibes to it. <laughs> uh, this is available in the Gold Series, I believe. I think we did a review on that. If we did, I'll have a link down below. Don't worry. It's an awesome paint scheme, guys. If you're a, if you're a Kyle Busch fan, you're going to like that Interstate Batteries logo. If you're a Truex fan, you're going to like this paint scheme. It's just really interesting seeing like Stanley and D-Wall and Interstate Batteries on all the different Joe Gibbs racing cars uh, the past few years. It's definitely a change of pace. And the next one here, this is a true exclusive and a Larry McNugget to go along with it. They actually have a Cracker Barrel Wave for uh, NASCAR Authentics. I thought they were dead. Apparently not. And it has this car in here. I have no idea what the sponsor is. I got to be honest with you. It's not that great looking of a car. I don't even know what it is. Slam? I have no idea. Um, <laughs> apparently, they wanted to get a die cast, so that's a slam donk. I'm kidding. Uh, uh, this die cast, I think it's supposed to have chrome numbers, but naturally, would it be an authentic line die cast? They're not going to have that. Uh, if you do see it, I would pick it up. Only way you're going to be able to get it. This one right here is available in the 164 Gold Series. It is the Brad Kozlowski King's Hawaiian Ford Mustang. It's a pretty cool looking paint scheme. 
Uh, the Gold Series edition of it has kind of a matte satin finish. I don't know if the Authentics edition will. Again, we've seen a lot of inconsistencies with our Authentics line releases, but if you're a Brad K fan, this would be a cool die cast to pick up. This one right here, massive red flags. Do not pick up this car, guys. One, it's on the blurry decal, so it's gonna it's gonna feel weird. It's gonna look crappy. Get it in the Gold Series, guys. This diecast is unfreaking believable in the Gold Series. The body armor, um, sports water paint scheme. Whoa. Whew. I mean, they have made some amazing looking paint schemes this year. He won the Coke 600 with that camo car. The sports water car looks fantastic. It'd be cool to see him win a race in that. Just get it in the Gold Series, guys. Avoid the blurry decals. The, the, the telltale sign for it. On the Cup Series logo, it will it'll be very blurry. If it's blurry, then it has the, the fuzzy decals to it. They feel stamped on. They don't feel like they're clear-coated on. It just, ugh. I don't even know why they do it, to be honest with you. It's it's so asinine to me. This one is actually very welcomed. A truck diecast, finally. A truck diecast has came back to the NASCAR Authentics line. It is, unfortunately, a Chase Elliott one. Look, I'm a huge Chase Elliott fan. They made two versions of this paint scheme. They made the Bristol raced version, which he didn't win, and then they made the normal clean version, both in the Gold Series. Could we at least get an Alex Bowman or a William Byron or, heck, why don't they just make a back marker truck? Why do they have to? I, I, I just, I don't know. <sighs> but I just think they could have chose a million different paint schemes, to be honest with you. I mean, that that's just, that's just my honest opinion there. And... Is this the first time we've ever had a liquid color truck chase piece? I'd still make it a donor anyways. <laughs> no, I don't know, man. I don't I don't really care about the, the liquid color stuff, in my honest opinion. I could care less. Uh, it's just it's just a car with a metallic finish. If I really wanted to want one, I'll make it myself. I, I just, I don't know. But yeah, so wave two of the NASCAR Authentics line. It's so much better than Wave 1, but it still feels flat. I, I don't know. I know these reactions are super late, as usual. <laughs> but I just feel like the NASCAR Authentics line, to me, in, in my honest opinion, it's like they release them way too late, so you already have them in the Gold Series, and then they're on a botched decal mold, or they have blurry decals. I, there's no interest. There's no hype. There's no build-up. It's cool to see two exclusives in there, at least two exclusives, uh, that being the Josh Berry and then the Daniel Suarez. So that's really cool. That's really cool. But I wouldn't go out of my ways for those two cars, to be honest with you. You know, if you put, like, a random back marker truck in there, you know, if you put, like, a random, you know, paint scheme that we didn't even know got offered in there, whoa, I'll, you know, I'd, I'd love to see that. Those two paint schemes, I, I, I mean, it's cool if you see them, but I wouldn't go drive 50 miles to go find them. You just waste too much gas and time. But what do y'all think? Comment down below, fellas. Thank y'all so much for watching. Have a blessed one, of course, for all your Gold Series diecasts. Uh, make sure to check out Circle B Diecast. Use the promo code Diecast Buffet. All one word. Same as the YouTube channel, somewhere down there. <laughs> and you better save on shipping. So thank y'all so much. God bless. Diecast Buffet. Signing off.